<clears throat> Hello guys, welcome back. How are you doing guys? Uh, we're gonna wait a couple of minutes so some people can come by. And then we will start uh, improving on our... Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, uh, then we're gonna continue improving our uh, bot, bot in uh, coding game contest. So... Um, yesterday I've been implementing um, some enemy tracking uh, algorithm in order to take into consideration like uh, um, at the moment I'm taking into consideration only two of his moves when he actually moves and when uh, he silences so today I'm thinking to extend on that algorithm to also track uh, when he surfaces because we get some hints out of that as well we are getting like in which uh, sector he is surfacing um and then also it's very important to uh, uh to take into consideration also the uh when i'm shooting uh at some point if i don't hit him i should take this as a hint because i know that he's not around uh the nine tiles around the the target that i'm shooting and if i hit him with two damage i know exactly where he is because i know that i hit him uh, as well, if I hit him with one damage, I know eight possible position where he might be. So yeah, I think I'll improve on that. Yesterday, I'm, um, I didn't progress anything in the ranking uh, because I didn't actually finish the algorithm. It, it works, but I'm not using it at any good. Like I'm just trying to implement this tracking algorithm, and after that, I'll decide like what I'll do with it. For example. Um, if there is, well, if I know exactly where my enemy is, uh, it will make sense just to run at him and start shooting at him, or maybe not. So we'll see. We'll see that later. Uh, hello, Alexandra. Hello, you're always first here. So let's just share the stream maybe with people from coding game that might be interested. And also on Discord, and then we can start. There's um. Uh, I saw that the gold league has opened yesterday and I'm not even in silver one but uh, yeah someone in coding game uh, said nice question yeah th thank you very much <laughs> I was thinking today hmm, should I change my outfit or keep it the same but let's uh, let's keep it the same because why not tradition. yeah tradition Hopefully people will uh, remind about myself of weird dude uh, in Stitch costume. <laughs> so I was um, I was actually looking around. For example, I was checking uh, the first places of people and trying to see how they how they are doing. Let's put it, yeah, on five is good. So you see that a lot of people are in uh, in first places are using the mines a lot, so they basically didn't see them even shooting. Yeah, they shoot sometimes, but they're using the mines very often. And I was thinking, um, is can can you trigger a mine from any position on the map? 
uh, triggering a mine will cause an explosion. You can only trigger your own mines. Look, like for a torpedo, the explosion has okay. Oh, so you can trigger the mine from um, anywhere on the map. So that's the, uh, actually a very nice a very nice thing because uh shooting you can only shoot uh, around four cells but with my mines you can trigger them from anywhere so yeah maybe maybe um, we will start implementing them soon but first of all i, I will try to um to improve my tracking algorithm because without the proper tracking there is no uh, point of um, like for for development. Hi Maxim, hello. So let's connect the editor. Uh, I saw uh, some people uh, are asking me on YouTube uh, how uh, I managed to upload, um, how I managed to split uh, uh, the classes into separate files. And still upload them to coding game because in coding game you should only upload one file um for that i have a script i developed it a couple of years ago let's uh let's just check it it's a very simple script that just copy copies the content of all the files and puts it into the same file so and I attach it to a file watcher that will uh, trigger this script every time I change something in my file. So that, this is the Java file manager. And I have here some documentation. I know it's poor because I wrote it a couple of years ago, but the script is quite simple. So you can adapt it um, as you wish. And here I'm just uh, taking all the import statements and putting them on the top uh, from all the files. And after that, I take the, the rest content. I think that's the idea of this script. I'm, I don't remember what I was doing at the time, but it works. So I'm able like to, um, to split the, everything in separate classes, in separate files, and then uh, everything builds into, into this output file. And it has like action class map every class that I have in the source, so it's a it's a long file. Yeah, yeah, I know that it's pretty hard if you work in one file, because having like a lot of classes in one file can become like uh, confusing at sometimes. So yeah, guys, if that will be helpful for you, you are welcome. So, shall we get started? Um, let me just close everything and start clean. Firstly, I think I would have to do some refactoring because uh, I'm coding on stream and sometimes I think I just rush and in order like to to refactor something, I would rather say like, okay, let's leave it like this. I know it's bad, but I don't want to bore you on the stream. So, and the code like starts becoming quite messy uh, through the time. So yeah, I was not able to sleep this night to, for your understanding. I was thinking like, oh, that map class is so big. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm thinking about this, um, the tra I'm tracking the trail of the enemy inside the map class, but that doesn't make a lot of sense because this trail, we are building it once we run the, predict the predicting algorithm and it's not like a 100% trail of uh, the enemy the same way as uh, uh, my trail because my trail, I know exactly where it is. But for enemy, it's always like predicting, predicting it. So I don't think it should live in the map class. And I would rather split it into the submarine class somehow. So. I'd probably have to add it to, um, 
to this function that is getting called uh, that that is doing the backtracking. Um, so here I will take um, probably an int uh, trail. Yeah. And let's do it like this uh, trail at um, position dot get uh, again. I forget what's the first one. Get um, x. No, get y. Then position dot get x is equal to one. I will not need this one because I'm not using it from the map. Uh, I will have also here um, check trail uh, because I will move some of them, some of the logic from there inside here. Um, yeah, for uh, for an action move, we can safely uh, give it our trail map inside here. Because we are not forking here, we are just, it will go there only once, the movement. However, for the silence, here we are forking our, um, and we will have to get uh, to get a clone of a of a trail and give it to to all the possible target positions. So, getting a clone, or should I? I'm thinking if a uh, bidimensional array of uh, of um, primitive integers is passed by by reference or by uh, let let's just check Java int array pass by reference or R yeah okay that's what I'm wondering Are array passed by value or passed by a reference in Java Vadim, hello, hello, Norok. Uh, Andrusha, Norok. What are you doing, guys? On a Sunday day. In quarantine. Okay, okay, let's uh, let's understand this one. Change ref. Yeah, it will change because they are passed by uh, by reference. Okay, then we'll have to have a copy of it. Uh, the same way we did, I think, in the map. We have a clone array. Probably we will not need it anymore here. We can add it here. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, trail clone will be clone array of a trail we will pass it down to this function trail 
what's the problem here yeah so and then we don't need to reset it right i guess so we don't need this one in the map i think set enemy trail yeah uh we can delete this one delete safely this one we don't need the enemy trail here doing a bit of cleaning reset enemy trail don't need this one is enemy safe to move is enemy safe to move so here we will check if it's on the map that make that makes sense we are not keeping track of a trail here war or should we send it here we can actually say trail uh, it's other way around yep if trail point point x is equal to one return false in cell map point then island so it's much clearer uh, i think i lost the connection for for a bit did i guys can you hear me can you write in comments something hello hello everyone who joined oh that's borja yeah i remember your nickname hello borja Should I tell everyone what a traitor you are? Or it's between us? Set enemy visited cells. We will not need this one. Reset enemy visited cells. Yeah, you see how many functions we have here that we actually don't need. So in the submarine there, we will send the trail and it will uh, take into consideration enemy trails as well I, I hope yeah and after that we put it there map reset um, let's initialize the trail here is equal to new and the width the width is 25 not 15 and we will send it to i hope java is um is initializing the array with zeros not sure but let's see so let's just check if our refactoring worked no it didn't where is that get possible position based is it here trail Yeah, it didn't manage to update. So, okay, I think I'm losing very badly. <laughs> Okay, the enemy already knows where I am. How many, am I losing lives here? Oh, he shot me. No, that's overpower. Like, like, 
what are the chances that he 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 would guess from the beginning of the game that I'm here? Or this just random? Uh, okay, we'll we'll get you. We'll get you. Give me a little bit more time. And we will get you. So enemy possible position 102 at the beginning. 69, 30, 24, and I lost. Mm. Um. Yeah, before this stream, I was trying to sleep to because I was working the whole day, and I couldn't sleep because I was thinking of ways to improve it. Uh, <laughs> this. Um, this algorithm so I was thinking that in the silence I have a bug because um, the way I'm checking if it's possible to go to get to that position with a silence is uh, a bit wrong because I'm just I'm just getting that uh, position, like assumption of a position. It might be like four uh, cells apart, and I'm just checking if that uh, cell is empty. But I'm not checking if the, the whole um, path until that cell is empty. So um, if, for example, someone silences from here, I would think, my algorithm would think that he could uh, arrive here because it's, uh, it's less than four distance from uh, his initial position and it's an empty cell because I'm not checking what's in between. So I think I'll have to fix that, that one. Be the, the, it's important to fix the silence like predictions because if there is a lot of branching factor in the silence move, for example, if I have a lot of possible positions out of one silence move, uh, this reduces the number of uh, possible position. No, this increases the number of possible positions of the enemy. So yeah, my algorithm is not predicting very well where the enemy is, because if he does like two silences in one row, and each silence will produce, for example, um, how many? He it can produce sixteen, I think. Uh, so you can understand that the numbers are getting very, very high when when the enemy uses silence a lot. So let's think how to fix that, uh, how to fix that, that one. So I'm getting the uh, possible targets from the point. Neighbors, I mean, yeah, get neighbors. So I am looping uh, within the distance and I will get, for example, for this enemy, in my array, we will have, okay, it's, um, we will have a distance one north, then uh, east, yeah, east, southwest, and then at, posi at a distance two, and so on. Mm, is it a good idea? Maybe we should submarine. Mine, yours, what? <laughs> hmm. So it doesn't like this remove variables you trail. No, 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 no. What happened? Come 
Well, how to was... <laughs> I'll have to take one direction and move slowly like a distance one, then check distance two, then check distance three, then four, then take another direction and so on. Uh, so. How to do it? Should I just have... Um, a simple loop from from i um, to four directions i plus plus okay let's call it not i but direction direction then for each direction we will have a loop uh, and a distance dist and it's uh, from one until four dist plus plus and point target will be uh, position dot uh, get cell uh, get neighbor we will send a uh, direction and distance let's check the comments my assistant is saying um borja i was asking if the damage was from a mine i don't get the game very well can you explain okay uh for the new ones including borja <laughs> let's explain uh, real quick the game so uh the game is based on a popular game i don't know it but maybe you know it captain sonar so there are two submarines you don't know where uh, this is me this is my enemy you don't know where your enemy is but in which turn you know what he is doing for example you know that he moved east and all his actions so also you can shoot you saw that i was shooting here and i don't know i lost a life there right yeah because i shot myself not very fun um and the idea of a game is just based on uh, enemy moves you should predict where he might be and just go and shoot him and kill him there are also like other uh, types of um, like skills you can also put mines and then like detonate them um, the sonar you can ask like uh, is he in uh, sector 8 and the game will tell you yes or no um and the silence is just uh you will move one up to four uh cells apart at the distance of four cells but the point of the silence is that your enemy will not know uh where and how far you silenced they will know that you just silenced so that's the idea because uh, uh right now i'm implementing like enemy prediction so with just moves, I can easily predict where he is. But when he uses silence, uh, I don't know where he silenced or how far. So there are like 16 possible uh, silence position. So that's the challenge. Like it becomes quite hard to predict. Uh, is that a bit more clear, Borja? Or everyone? Yeah, let's get back to, to what? Get neighbor direction and distance we will implement this method in the point public point get neighbor integer we are sending first direction and then integer distance 
distance. So we will have um, yeah I already forgot how to use uh, switch statements but let's see so case it's zero then we go north uh, north a uh, one will be uh, I think east No, 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 it's going to be south or I'm not sure if that actually matters, but yeah, let's do east. Okay, let's implement it firstly. Return new. New point like this, uh, and it's minus distance. And then, yeah, then if it's a one, we go to the east. The east is x plus, yeah, it's this one. return new point x plus distance then we go south come on south which will be case 2 This is self return new. Plus distance. And the last one west. Not kind of just uh, just west. Case free. Return. And it's the x minus this. x minus this. Or we can say default here. Yep. Okay, map. No, submarine. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, we move through the uh, directions, then for this, and then to, we, will, we will have to check uh, this target, if it's safe to move there. So, Let's take this one. If map is enemy is safe to move, not to the position, but to the target with his current trail, right? Thank you. If, it's, if he's not safe, we will uh, break out of this loop. Because if at, for example, uh, distance two, he was not able to move, then we know for sure that at distance 3 and 4, he'll definitely not be able to move because he cannot pass through, distance, through, through the cell at distance 2. So that's why we are, break, we are breaking out of, uh, of, the, of the first loop. But we'll still have to check like other directions. So that's the first thing. Then, then I guess we will have just to, to copy paste this one. 
So trail clone. We clone the trail. We call recursively this function target exactly actions turn plus one trail and if possible end positions is different than null we add them all to the result but later on we return wait 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 we already did it okay Um hmm. this thing is very hard to to test. And I'll just have to assume that it works. Yep. I don't know, I don't know uh, how to better test it. But I'll see if we have a lot of um, enemy possible positions after a silence, then we can start to worry. So 72, what are you laughing at? I didn't tell any funny joke. <laughs> Not yet. So yeah, it's Okay, okay, okay. Am I just shooting myself? Man, I don't understand what's happening there. So I'm the orange one. Okay, I am shooting there. Why I'm shooting there? Why am I shooting there? The first thing we torpedo, then we move. Torpedo 8, 2. My position is 9, 3. Hmm. If position distance is less than 4, and position is around and position is not around okay i was only shooting <laughs> my check here was saying like only shoot when the position will hit uh, myself so i was <laughs> intentionally trying to kill myself oh what's happening Will I leave a little bit more than, uh, than, than before? Okay, I, st I still uh, died, but not that horrible. <laughs> so let's just check if we are still not shooting. No, we are. 8-6. Come on. If position is around. If position is not around. So I'm still shooting. If distance to the point is one, return true. So distance to the point 
could be 1. 9, 6, and 8, 6. Distance. Man, what's happening? Maybe it didn't update. Maybe. So let's again check. Um, okay, he. Yep, yeah, now he. Yeah, that was the enemy shooting here. Okay, in this case, we hit him. And if we were predicting like uh, enemy position based on the en enemy damage, then in this case, we would be able to win him. No way, we still won. Damn. Did we? So here, enemy possible position one. So I know exactly where he is. I just should go there and kill him. But in one case, I get to enemy possible position zero. That should never happen. That means that we have a bug somewhere. Let's try to understand where might that bug be. So silence, silence, silence. Enemy possible position two. Then he silences. Enemy possible position six. Because from this um from this point he could only silence like one, two, three, four positions to this side and four to this so that's why our branching is still mm, okay one one so 13 12 yeah we know exactly where he is and it's the right answer okay in this situation the enemy silences enemy silences and no way what's going on so enemy possible position 13 11 that's correct then he silences <coughs> and i have a only possible position 10 11 we, where is 10 x is 10 X is 10 and Y is 11. Why I think that the only position can be here. Hmm. That's quite weird. Because 
I know exactly where he is in this position. I'm debugging it here. 13, 11. Then the enemy silences. And I should, at this point, have four possible positions, because he can silence here, he can silence at distance 2, and distance 3, and distance 4. But I only have it at this, at this distance. Hmm, interesting. So, north y minus this, y plus this, x minus this, y minus. If map is enemy safe to move to the target. Let's check uh, is enemy safe to move. So if it's not on the map, it's not safe. That's clear. If trail is equal to one, then that's uh, also not possible. And if cell is different than island, no, return cell different than island. So in our cases, the cell is empty cell, so it will return true. It should be safe to go there. Direction 0 to 4. Distance 1 to 4. Clone array. Did that, does it clone it correctly? Let's only hope. So we will go to target. Do 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 do. Da, 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 da. I'm thinking if I'm not updating the position here. Let's just have um point target. And then okay, equal to new new point zero zero. Then 
here say target is equal to red not to change and to move to the target Let's check it one more time. So what's happening here? Okay, uh, three possible positions. Is his current position one of those? 10, 11, 10. Yeah, it's this one. 11, 10, we move, we move. Then he silences. 11, 11. Now we should see, said that possible position is 11, 10, 11, uh, 9, 11, and 8, 11. but no so something is happening here Okay, he can be in position 8, 5. Where is 8, 5? This one? Yeah, probably he can be there. And in 8, 9. And in this one. Okay. Enemy possible positions. We have eleven eleven here. And after that nothing about it. Let's. Uh, I, I saw that I'm not printing all the all the lines there because once I found uh, a position that suits uh, suits me, like shooting, I am shooting there. So let's just uh, console of them here. Enemy possible positions. System error. Print line. Okay. Let's try again. Okay, free position. Um, my enemy is on 10, 14. 10, 14 is here. Okay, that's good, good, good. Okay, then he silences, right? When? From this. Okay, from this position, he silences. We know that 8, 13. And he can silence there he can silence here he can silence here okay we got a lot of position 8 13 12 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 8, 10. No, we don't have it. 
<laughs> no, please. From six thirteen. Six. What six? X is six. Six thirteen. This one. Okay, six twelve, six eleven, six ten, six nine. Six thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten. Okay, that's good. So from six thirteen, you thought like one, two, three, six, ten. Then he thought that maybe he went down six fourteen. That's good. That's everything for this one. After that, seven thirteen. Where do we get this three thirteen? <laughs> oh, because we are y is thirteen. Six thirteen. How did he think that we might get here? Three thirteen, right? From six thirteen to three thirteen. There is no way to get here. It's an island in the middle. Is the enemy safe to move here? I'm gonna debug it. I'm gonna find out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't get it. Like this X313, which is here. How on earth would he went there? Why is 13 for everything? Okay, then let's think how it went. So, firstly, it took the north part. Mm -hmm. 
then the distance increases like this is from 6 13 can i make this one bigger okay can from this is for the first point so the distance uh, one then distance two then distance three that's it then it took east there is no possibility there in the east okay six nine as well six fourteen this is the other direction so then it took south one distance then it took uh, west right the last direction is west exactly x minus d so submarine Hello, Danielka. Hello. Yeah, my brain is uh, is boiling right now, <laughs> but I don't want to give up on uh, on this uh, on this thing because I think there should be easy to fix, and I messed up somewhere. So, how did you get there? That's the question. Enemy possible position sixteen. This is six. Yeah, you can. The distance from here to here is only three, but there is a fucking island here you cannot go here you should not consider this option target pause get neighbor direction distance direction distance Let's try to console here, but mm, enemy not safe to go there. Break, uh, uh, go to the next direction. Let's see, let's see. Uh, it's easier to debug. Uh, 
Okay. Enemy possible position 49. Let's go somewhere. 10. 10. Less 6. 3. 1. Let's see if um, it's correct. 14, 10. My enemy is 14, 10. That's correct. Then my enemy moves. Still one, move. Still one, move. Still one. Now the enemy silences. And I still have one position. Let's check if that's true. So from this... We know that he is 14-14, that's correct. Silence, V. No, there should be more. There should be, at this moment, not only one, 11. Takes the first one 11 14 and it ignores 12 14 and 13 14. And that was the same case in the pre previous time. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I think this one didn't help us a lot. To go plus target dot to string. Direction is free. Why? Oh, shit. I found it. It's right here. X minus the direction. So direction is always free. X minus dist. God. I was pretty sure it's a dumb mistake. And I lost a couple of half an hour on it. I don't even need to print this one. I hope. Hmm. Yeah, that happens. That happens very often for me. <laughs> so, yeah, enemy possible position six. Let's get to a point where, where we lost. <clears throat> yeah, Alexandra, Alexandra knows my pain, right? No. So let's move, let's move, let's move. At uh, 20, 14, 9, 9, 6, 6, 6. Come on, come on, come on. 6, 6, 6. I don't get to a point like to better test it. So, okay, here are two. And he is five, twelve. What? C 
six is on six twelve, but my algorithm says that nothing different. Why are you doing that? Here still are a lot of possible position 34. Even here we can. So he's in 06. Do we have 06 somewhere here? Uh, 0. Yeah, do we, we have 06? And then he moves 34. He's in 27. Let's check if we have 27 in our list. We have 27. Let's go 21. He's in 210. To ten there. Right now he's in five ten. We have it. Yeah, we have it still. Six ten. We have it. Seven ten, we have it. Eight ten, there it is. Eight eleven, we still have it. Where are we losing track of him? Seven, yeah, it's there. Here, six eleven. Yep. Yeah, I think at the moment is much better. Because yesterday at the end of the game I was getting like uh, around 1000 enemy possible position but even but now even with this solution i'm getting like around three and that's already better 13 80 yeah, and always the, his position is in that array and the possible position two so 13 6 it's there and 13 7 okay so he silences And yep. No, I don't like this idea when enemy possible position is zero. What's going on here? So in this case, oh, I think I know. He surfaced, right? And when he surfaced, I'm not the cleaning the trail. He did surface somewhere. Didn't he? No, he didn't. Yeah. He... Zero free. Why I think he should be in zero free right now? Two, two. 
But I think he is in zero what? Five zero, that's that's correct. And after that is two zero. Five zero three zero. And then only two zero. Where did we lose the five zero? Not again. That one is a move action. Four zero five one three one. Then we mo he moves north. We are left with five zero and three zero. Then he moves west, and we have only two zero. He computed only on, on the second one, but not on the first one. So let's check. Mm, if action move, move. Point target. If move is north, move is south, move is east, move is west. Target, target, target. Plus one, minus one, minus one, plus one. If map, map is enemy safe to move there. Hmm. Is the move wrong or the check here? Action size is less or equal than torn. Going to the supermarket for supply, but I still hear you in the car. Oh, that's so sweet from you. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm fixing some bugs, some um, not very fun bugs, I'd say it like that. But definitely there are improvements. So I 
just don't know why this happens. Something with a trail or what? Let's go to the move and make sure is north direction to add to lower case equals north south or south E for east and W for west. No, it's good here. So there was a split. Might it be that our trail is being changed? Let's try to console it here. There. Trail before split for and equal to zero. Dean. Yes, sorry for my inconsistent writing, but I want to very quickly trail. Okay, we will have here a string. Then str plus equal to trail at ij. Is it first? Yep. Not set enemy, but console log str. And the same thing after we call this to make sure that our trail is not getting distorted trail after split. Uh, all right. Yep, let's uh, let's check this one. I will go to the end. No, I still uh, have one enemy possible position. Let me just check if it's the same. Eleven, eleven. Yeah, I think it goes here. Eleven, eleven. No, it's the wrong one. But I'm not uh, displaying... Uh, the code didn't update yet. Okay, here, trail before split, trail after split, okay. Minus one life, why? I ran out of time. Is it a timer? Yeah, it's a timer. Because I'm printing printing too much. Dun, 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 dun. How to check if I'm not modifying the trail?
should I just compare with the trail clone and see if it's the same? Then it means that we are actually we are changing it, but we shouldn't. Let's try. I don't know. So if trail i j is different than uh, trail clone i j boolean are different equal to false are different is true we will call, uh, delete this one so here uh, if If they are not different, but that will not mean anything probably to me right now. Uh, trails are the same before and after split. No, that's not gonna. Yeah, and only in that case to print them. <laughs> Because they can still be the same. No, that's not good, that's not good. Let's just print these trails only in the end of a game. So, if turn is more than, let's say, 100, then we will print them. Something like that. Let's see. <clears throat> so let's go, let's go, let's go. Enemy possible position four. Our enemy is twelve six. Yeah, we still have it here. Any possible position three, fourteen, one. Yo, it's here. Then he's silenced. His position fourteen zero is here. That's nice. Eleven. Okay, here we lost track of him. And that happens only when we move west. Move west. Fourteen. Hmm. Thirteen zero fourteen one. Okay. Fourteen one. 
and 13 0 this one okay so 15 12 okay 9 0 14 0 is here But I think the 14-0 comes from this path. 14 1 we should have checked didn't even check that for the 14 1 Oh my god, what's going on? Target actions. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. That's uh, that's fun. Thirteen. Okay. In this situation, I lose track of him, but I know why. Because I'm not doing anything when he surfaces. So I think this one is an easy fix. So after that, we can fix the other more complex bugs. Okay. Let's very quickly implement the another action surface cannot create do i have it yep i have it so the submarine do we keep track of it so if order starts with move if with surface we take where it was okay then here here we will have an average statement if action inst instance of surface then then surface um surface equal to casting down the um, the action okay 
here what we have to do is we have to reset the trail So we also get we also get the sector in which is the user. So there is uh, surface dot get. We will implement it right away. Get sector. Uh, at this moment, we have to check if the current position that we think we are in is in the sector. If it's not in the sector that the surface uh, told us, then we should uh, return null because it, it's not possible that the enemy is there because we have uh, we have evidence. So, uh, if uh, position dot get um, sector. Get sector if it's different than surface dot get sector then we return null otherwise otherwise we should reset the trail we have it somewhere here we should reset the trail or should we do a quick loop and just set it to, to zero? So trail is equal to zero. I'll, uh, in a second, I'll implement the get sector method. And we should. Um, just return where is it coming from where is this coming from i think i have too many yeah i have to just to return the backtracking with this get current target it's the same position because when we surface we don't change the position we give action, we increment the turn, and we give a trail which we reset. So that's good. Uh, now let's uh, implement the position that gets sector. Point. Uh, public int get sector. Let's just check here. So the sectors go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What would be a very uh, easy way to determine the sector mm, based on X? I don't see a very easy one right now, so I'll probably uh, I probably have to just if do if statement Or is it a better way? I can have a map point. Okay, if statement. <laughs> if this dot get y is less than five first row else if this dot get y is less than 10 
second row else third row is it correct i hope then if but why should we call the getter we can just work with the variables if x is less than five then return sector one else if x is less than 10 return sector 2 and here return sector return 3 we don't need if statement because in every uh, cycle we will return so it's safe so we will have the same for the second row uh four five six and we will have the same here uh seven eight nine gets a four right submarine gets sector okay let's uh let's uh test it i am missing something there in the point i don't see anything maybe didn't update Missing return statement. Return line. Yep. So guys, let's see if our enemy will ever. No, he doesn't. We'll try to find um, a game where our enemy surfaces. Mm -hmm. So we'll just see if our algorithm is working. I hope in this long game he will. Come on, come on, come on, you should. Yeah, here you will surface. So mm, we already lost track of him. Damn, why you're losing track of him? Four seven. Four eight. Or no, it's even four nine. I don't even have four nine here. You see? Oh my god, why? Five possible from one thirteen. Oh, I'm looking at my player. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay, my, I'm a bit tired already. So in this position, my enemy is 712. 712 is there. Here, my enemy is 512. It's there. 
14 uh no where 313 exactly one position 213 perfect 212 312 then 312 and from this position he silences and without looking at that i would expect that the silence will go either here which is 412 or this row like this three possibilities so it's going to be four possible positions but it's five let's see uh he can go for 12 or 12 is there he can go from from free 12 to check it in the direction of north he can go okay from free 12 he can go free 11 free 10 free 9 3, 8. Can he go that far? From here it's 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 8. Yeah, 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 that's correct, that's correct. Because when we, let's, uh, let's double check the silence. This allows you to move zero to four cells in a given directions. Oh, and you, you can even move zero. Not visiting already visited cells or islands. So we should take into consideration that he in during the silence he can also move uh, zero positions. Maybe that's why I was losing track of him because he might silence two nine two three ten. <laughs> Silence East One. We have four twelve. Exactly. Then he moves north. Then again north. And here is two nine. How? He took only this as a reference. So when My feeling is that we are actually not cloning the trail correctly. Trail. You know what? I think we are cloning it correctly, but I am not sending it cloned here. I am sending the actual variable. That stupid mistakes again. Come on. But at least I'm pretty sure that we fixed this one.
So let's move here. Enemy possible positions. One six. Okay, <laughs> we we fix the problem, but we we are getting more uh, possible positions. All right. I was thinking that that my algorithm is so is so um, good that it only uh, computes a couple of uh, possible positions but apparently that's not the case <laughs> it computes like 700 but why is that he used silence only once no twice three times Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think if I'm, um, if I will implement tracking where I shoot, this should definitely reduce a lot the, um, yeah, the amount. Let's play it one more time. I'm just afraid that my algorithm, uh, like, not to get uh, into. Yeah, but I'm I won there. It's a nice. Hey guys, if you're watching, are you participating in coding game? What uh, what league are you currently? Is there anyone from uh, gold maybe or silver? So I keep winning the bot. Hmm, I'm thinking, should I uh, submit the code? won there oh he won very badly okay let's try Let, let's submit it okay i think i don't have a chance so what's the next step to track the damage Track the damage. Let's Yeah, we should think of a way to so submarine. Let's keep um, a private point uh, last last um, tor torpedo target. It's gonna be null in the beginning, last torp target. And when we shoot, we should keep track of it. So shoot at position. Let's do it there. Shoot at last torpedo target is equal to point. Uh, okay, but. 
and when we when we play let's uh, reset it so uh, keeping this one we'll be able to from the enemy submarine we will be able to get what i was doing where i was shooting and based on the um, on the difference in the um, enemy's life i'll be able to take better decision i'm in the gold league of your team of supporters <laughs> that's the best team um... Okay, okay, dokie. Okay, dokie. So, in Java class. Uh, it's gonna be called damage, I guess. Damage action took damage. Okay, damage. Damage. We will keep track of um, a point private point Star, uh, torp target and private int um, hit points so it's gonna be zero one or two i'm sorry hmm? mm -hmm. i know but i'm feeling pretty okay right now so i'll probably continue a bit more uh... i just want at least to try to get um to silver, I mean, bro, yeah. Torp target, hit, hit points. So this dot torp target equal to torpedo target. This dot hit points is equal to hit points. Then in submarine. no let's check the player and there we have op opponent life let's also send it there opponent life opponent life yeah maybe it's not the best idea to put it there but we can always refactor it later so int and op life right opponent life Uh, here I want to keep track uh, if he surfaced because if he surfaced he will uh, lose one hit point so not to confuse that with a uh, hit damage <coughs> so let's say if no 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 not if uh, a boolean did surfaced equal to false false then if order start yeah um did surface equal to true and then here we will say um
int damage is equal to zero no is equal to uh this dot life the life that it had before and the life that we receive uh in this turn then we will check if it did surfaced then uh one of that hit point is not a damage but is actually because of a surface so we'll say damage minus equal to one so now we have actual damage from uh from our uh from our um hit so actions this turn we can add new damage then enemy dot last torp target last torp target but it's a private so get last torp target Yeah, enemy get last torp target then damage is it correct damage okay have to extend it here from actions torp target yeah that's correct And also we should update this dot life is equal to life. So the damage is current life minus the life this turn. And if it did surface, we extract one from the damage because it's not from our damage. Okay 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 then in this big s function we will handle also if action is instance of damage then let's think uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay, uh, if hmm. so first of all, if okay, let's uh, cast it down damage, damage <coughs> is equal to damage action if damage don't get not we don't have any getters there let's quickly generate generate come on getters okay so if get get hit points is equal to two then we know for sure where his position where our enemy position is so um uh, if damage dot uh get torp target equals to position if it if it's not there we know for sure that we can return null and we shouldn't we should not continue with this um, with this execution because if we know that we hit him and he is not there that we should return yeah then we'll have to do something with um 
else. Else if damage dot get hit points is equal to one. Then in that case, he's somewhere around the our target position. So we I think we had that function uh if damage dot get torp target get torp target uh is around position then return null if he's not around if damage get hit points is one not one but zero then we are sure that he is not um not anywhere around this point that we we shot So in this case, if uh, yeah, if it equals or is around, then we return null. Because if we know that we shot but we didn't hit anything then we should not look at these possible positions because yeah because yeah is isn't it clear let's check let's check right now so i'm ranked 106 okay it's already better it's going somewhere how many percentages i think all of them yeah So what's happening there? Let's console log something. Um, So I hit you. No, no, no. I did not hit you, but I will. Okay, okay, okay. Enemy position. Did it update?
so I shot here before I, I shot it. Then I should be sure that he is not here. But for some reason it doesn't go there as I see. Um there. damage Oh, but I also should check if I actually shot in that round. So, 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 so. So here. Um, if enemy get last dwarf is different than null, then we should do this. Okay, okay, okay. What's happening? Let me just check it updated correctly. Yeah, it did. Nothing is wrong. Let's check it here. Uh, so you shot me yep let's see okay you shot me in that turn so he still thinks that it's in free zero he can be but he cannot be well at this point he can be but Ninety one. How to debug it? Actions this turn and new damage. New damage. Oh, maybe I should get a copy of it because it's set to null. But here, instance of surface, instance of damage, it says that there is no such action.
Hello, Borja, are you back? How, how is it in uh, Spain right now with, uh, with everything? I'm definitely not adding it some, somewhere something correctly. Action instance of surface if action instance. So action, yeah, let's debug uh, instance. Instance, instance of, come on, action dot, how to get which instance it is, get class, Action class move 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 Why? I can't figure out why my um, damage uh, action is not recorded. No way. Okay, the action class silence it gets, but the damage, no. Come on. Actions, this turn, odd. new damage see Act actions before we will console log here the actions with turn dot size and let's do the same after after trail before no we don't need that trail after so
actions before one, actions after two. Okay, but what's the type of that action? It should be damage. It added new damage, damage. Damage, damage, uh, damage action will be this one. We will add it here and we will also debug. CR uh, action uh, type will be damage action dot get plus so action cause damage What is happening there? Yet possible. Let me just debug them here, I don't know, mm, for something like this. For a real list of actions actions this turn inside actions then like this and we can say um, Ring. Okay, that doesn't become uh, a lot fun than before, but I'm already so tired. Action dot get class plus empty space. Uh, S -E -R. Actions. Come on. Move and move.
move. And there is this damage, this damage class. Maybe I'm not even getting there, that's why. Plus damage. Damage. Help! There is one more thing, I'm not sure why I'm sending actions there, because they're always the same. I mean, we take them from the object, so I don't think that we need them. Actions, actions, actions. Exactly. If action. Uh, if it's move, then we return here. Should we check? Firstly, damage. Because we never get to this point. Let's try to put the damage on top. And check right now. Oh. Did it update? We forgot to update this one. So are we class move, class damage, class move, class damage, but I never see this, uh, this, this one. for action hmm the um, i know why even with the check after that 
that happened. Even with a check after that, in our array, the class move come, comes before the class damage. Should we see if we can maybe put it before? So, did surface. Um, we will have to check that okay uh, we found this did surface just by damage surface And damage, damage, come on, damage action. Uh, well, it's not here. It's equal to null. damage action if damage action is not null then damage action dot damage damage set hit points set hit points of damage action dot get hit points minus one Okay, let's check right now if it works. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, but I really want. It's still the first one. Come on. Did you update? Okay, here the damage. Okay, I did not hit you. I did not hit you, but I will. Okay, that's uh, kind of good. Let's uh, delete the, um, some of the debugging where we have um, actions here. We don't need them, right? Yeah. And we can debug right now. Damage, I did not hit you, but I will. So yeah, I, I still didn't hit him. Let's check if I ever hit him. Okay. 
after this case we should know exactly where his position is because we hit him come on come on come on come on come on hmm let's Okay. Enemy possible position eleven five. Wait. He's in eleven six. Okay. Eleven six is here. But out of all these positions, uh we know that we we hit him with one damage, so we know it's around here. So eleven five is here. It's still possible to be there. 12-5 12, 12-5 five. 12, five, it's here it's still possible 7-6 seven, 7-6 six. Seven, six. where is 7-6 somewhere here 7-6 it's not possible let's see if we discarded it so 7-6 is not possible then we go one left one north Yeah, 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 it actually did. Okay, it's going a bit better, I think. So, what happened there? Yeah, he won again. yeah so i think i should uh, actually work more with silence because i'm not using silence at all so people can easily track my position but why he's why mine is not shooting here because enemy possible position zero that's actually a very big problem why we lost him And we are back to that problem. Like, where did we even lose him? Zero, two. So here, possible position eight is eight six. Okay, we have it. Eight six, nine six. Then next turn, zero possible position. Try to fire out of range. That's me. Move E. Island. Why? Why do I think that from eight six 
I cannot go to west. I mean east. It become nine. Nine. So E X. The east direction should be x plus 1. Let me check if that's the case. East. Move, move. To lowercase equal east. Move, move, move is east, yeah, plus one, am I missing something here, is east, the lowercase e, no breaking way. No, it should be able to go there. Enemy possible, but let's just submit to check the new code. But yeah, I should find that bug, and I'm pretty sure it's something easy to fix. Because even here, like I almost, yeah, like I have six life, he has two lives, and because I think that enemy possible position is zero, I'm not shooting, so he wins just by this. So this should be an easy game for me. If I just find this green bug. Let me just grab some water and I'll be back. back there are still five people here <laughs> oh my god let's see
All right, all right. So forty three, still a lot of six, six. Okay, only one. Three eleven. Why three eleven? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm looking for a case where I lose him. <clears throat> How we are doing here. If only we find this bug, then I think it's gonna be much better. And I can't reproduce it every time. North, South, East, West, Submarine, Target. North is minus one. South is plus one here. Move east. I can't. So it's the last turn. It goes here. His enemy safe to move. Trail position. Puts an one. If action signs. We add this position. Trail get Y get exactly I'm going insane. Did I just time out there? Because there are 10,000 enemy possible positions.
Why is that happening? Is it because the enemy just silenced a lot? Yeah, he just silenced. On and on. Uh, okay, let's check. Uh, enemy possible position. Three. Zero two is here. Let's just check some of the latest bottles. To try to understand what's what's the problem. So here he finds my position. I also shoot him. How did he get me? Oh. Oh, he's shooting first. All right. I think this is the case where uh, my bot just thinks that let me just hand the game to the ID Here I'm winning it's like six zero but in the um, in the battle I was losing. Yeah six zero always if I leave it like this I will not be able to sleep this night.
that's that's for sure sometimes i lose the enemy from my radar <sighs> It's so hard to debug this. Okay, here, enemy possible position zero. Enemy possible position zero, 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 one. So here is our enemy. We predict that he is 13, four. Exactly where he is supposed to be 13 free exactly 12 free yes and then we lose Why do I think that he is not able to move there? Move as torpedo. At least you managed to do something, right? <laughs> it's good for If someone could help me. Alex, can you help me? Yes, we want you. Come on. Move as torpedo. Move as torpedo. Movement. Move. Split on these, then we take the first one, move direction. Oh, wait a second. Right, fire out of range. 
but I wanted to torpedo 12 free. I get it. I'm trying to uh to fire there. I am trying to fire there. And in my code I say that I fired. However, uh the game says try to fire out of range. So if I fire there and I don't give any damage, I am predicting that he is not there. All right, that's because of a firing. A torpedo requires free charge action to be ready when fully charged. A torpedo can be fired at any arbitrary water position within a range of four. This allows the torpedo's path to contain corners and go around islands, but not through them. The damage of explosion is 2. The, the range of torpedo. So I can shoot here, but I cannot shoot here. Why? Oh. So this is a corner. Jeez, how to, to code that? I would definitely have to yeah because here we tried to shoot um uh, yeah and there was a island there damn how to implement this one The source code, will I be able to find this in the source code? Source, main, let's check it. Game, player model, referee. Mm, torp, no. Model, direction, okay that's a pretty nice class, I could get inspired by this so I just can copy paste this in my code, so direction, string name. Okay, that's uh, that's good. And direction, grid model, initialize, increase the island tiles. Let's check um, player action commands. Mm, torpedo power. So torpedo power can execute if get maximum value more than charges. Player more. Okay. Invalid amount of parameters for torpedo, point target, node, path, BFS, get path, BFS, player model. If path is null or path, get path length is more than 4. Player model, game, add error, try to fire out of range. 
so it will just check the distance so distance until here is one two three and four. Oh, okay i get it one two no okay i think i will have to implement something like their bfs get puffs bfs player model grid model grid player model position target <laughs> Let's at this moment implement a very simple check for shooting if on the path but how? Where is their BFS? Get BFS Boolean maze source dist if is free X is more than zero X okay I think I'll just copy paste their BFS, um, BFS class not to reinvent the wheel because I'm too lazy at this moment to to try and implement it my uh, myself so let's create it BFS it's gonna be like this we need um, yep something like that for the point utils copy grid get x get y X get Y we will have to update it get Y X get Y what's the key oh no the this is node Utils copy grid Utils I have actually the same um, method Utils a B F S U T L S copy grid. Now we we'll have to update this one. So is three. We will say maze. Yeah, if it's zero. Oh, but it can also be. Uh, 
let's say uh, in our map we save islands as one so i should avoid only islands uh, and map is different than one to boolean oh it's um it's a boolean for that we will um let's keep uh islands in a boolean boolean not in boolean i'm tired in a boolean array and we'll call islands we will initialize them here this is equal to new boolean width and height and then um island islands equal to okay we can easily say is equal to island i and j okay we have this boolean thing then in the submarine when we shoot we should use it shoot Let's have private boolean can shoot can shoot at a point position. We will do with a beefy ass. Let's check in the commands torpedo power torpedo power i got power 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 okay so node we imported it from Okay, let's uh, let's extract the node out of uh, this class public static, or we can say bfs dot node bfs dot mod player model uh, is equal to the grid will be map dot get islands, which we need a uh, construct uh, getter for that public get islands not like this yeah no public boolean get islands and get islands yeah and this is um this is target 
and this is the position of our self so we get them okay So if path is null or path is more than zero, we return false. Let's better return path is different than null and path is less or equal than four. So we will say can shoot position and position is a round position. Nope, nope, nope. Where we are, um, Oh, all right, all right. And shoot. Can shoot a position. All right, let's check. Mm, not public class BFS. <sighs> public class utils. So, come on, come on, let's go. Another thing is that enemy possible position it's five, but all of them are the same. So yeah, that's also something that I think how to. I'm not shooting. Yeah, but it's weird where it's not shooting.
All right, here is as well possible position zero. Three fourteen. I'm completely lost because all the predicted positions are X zero. So the enemy is three fourteen. Let's try to resubmit and if still no, uh, no good results, but probably we didn't improve that much, but at least we cleaned a lot of the code and, and yeah, our prediction is much better. Still, there is a bug that I can't figure out at the moment. Um, Hopefully we will manage to um, to fix it tomorrow. If I'll be able to sleep, or I'll just wake up from uh, from the sleep and fix it. Mm, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me on this big stream. Uh, it took a little bit more than I anticipated. I'm already tired. So yeah, um, as always, guys, uh, stay hydrated, write clean code. And I'm out. Bye.